federal judge ruled today President Obama's health care law is unconstitutional. Georgia Governor Nathan Deal quickly praised the ruling, but despite today's ruling, the law is still in effect. Our John Shirek has more now on this still developing story. Georgia Governor Nathan Deal opposed the health care proposals when he was in Congress and agrees with the latest federal court ruling that declares the law unconstitutional. We are obviously very pleased with the judge's ruling. The ruling by U.S. District Court Judge Roger Vinson of Florida. He ruled that Congress cannot force people to buy health insurance. And he ruled that that provision makes the entire law unconstitutional. We're just very delighted with the legal analysis of the decision. Georgia Attorney General Sam Olins. The wording that the uh, judge used, frankly, I mean, he, he literally stated he wished he could find a way to hold the bill constitutional, but he cannot. Georgia is one of 26 states suing to try to abolish the health care law. So far, two federal judges have upheld the law, and now two federal judges have ruled the other way against all or part of the law. The White House says the latest ruling is well out of the mainstream and contradicts decades of Supreme Court precedent. And the law is going to end up in the U.S. Supreme Court for a final ruling. As it is, Georgia has to plan as if the provisions of the law are still going to take effect as scheduled in 2014, despite the latest court ruling against it. It is a victory, but it is not a complete victory in that we are still obligated to move forward. Georgia GOP Congressman Lynn Westmoreland. I hope that uh, the Congress will go forward to put forth a good health care proposal that will do the common sense things to prepare us for lower insurance costs and not getting the federal government between the patient and the doctor. How are you doing? At the state capitol, John Shearick, 11 Alive News.